What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take modern day footage and make it look like old school VHS camcorder footage. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Now if we head down here in the timeline, you'll notice I have this modern day clip. It's all in high definition. And you see the colors nice and bright. Clearly it's good footage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through numerous steps to make this look like that old VHS camcorder footage. So first things first, we need to highlight this clip, head up here into effect control, and we'll go all the way down here to opacity. So head right here to the blend mode. Head down where it says linear dodge add, click that. And this will make sense why you do that later. So now let's head down here to the clip itself and then go to the effects tab, which is over here in the project panel. Go to effects and just type in RGB here. And you can see down here where it says color balance underneath the image control. Grab and drag that onto the main clip. So now we have that. We're going to go back up here to the source panel. And you'll notice here where it says color balance. That effect has been added. So on this one clip, we're going to go down because we want to separate the colors. And we're going to eliminate two of the three colors. So we're going to eliminate the green, make that zero. And go to blue, make that zero. So now we just have the one red color. So let's head down to the clip again, the timeline. Now we're going to multiply this by holding down Option on a Mac, or if you're on a PC, hold down Alt, and then just drag it up to the top. You'll see Let Go, it'll duplicate. Grab that one more time, and duplicate so you have three. So essentially, we're going to create three different clips. One's going to represent red, one's going to represent green, one's going to represent blue. Now we have the one we highlighted originally that represents the red. So let's go to the second one here, and let's have that represent the blue, or the green, which is green because it's next. So make that 100 and then zero out the red, and then the blue's already zeroed. So we're gonna go to the next clip on top, and we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna do it to blue. So zero out red, and go down to blue, and do 100%. So now you'll notice the clip actually looks the same as it did before, because we made three different clips, one representing the red, one representing the green, one representing the blue. And the reason why we did the, the linear dodge blend mode is so they all blend together. If we didn't do that originally, it wouldn't blend together like this. And you'll, you'll also notice here it says 39 versus 100. It's actually 100%. So if you click on the different clips, it'll actually say 39 even though you put in 100. But as soon as you move the playhead, it'll go back to 100. So now what we're going to do is take one of these clips, just grab the top one, and we're going to slightly move the color panel over. So this is representing the blue. So I'm going to come up with position in the source panel. And I'm going to slightly just move it over just a little bit. And you can see in the see in the, I'll make an extreme. So you can see here where it, it slides the blue panel over. So we're gonna go down just to maybe about eight, just so it's slightly off. And then let's head down to the next one. And instead of going left to right, we're gonna go to the, go the up and down. And let's drag this down just a little bit so it has that kind of. There we go. And then you can leave the third one the same. So now you can see how it shifted the colors. It shifted the color plates a little bit. So it's off, kind of like the old camcorder footage where it's not lined up correctly. So now the next step we're going to do is we're going to come back down here into the project panel. Let me clear this effect out. And we're going to go back to the main page. And let's start an adjustment layer. So head down here where it says new item. Roll up to adjustment layer. And then just click OK, match the settings of your sequence. I'm going to drag that over and bring it here. I'm going to stretch it out to the length of the full clip. And I'll move that up and start one more track because in the middle, we're going to add text later. But for now, we're going to leave it here. So now we have the adjustment layer highlighted and there's nothing on the adjustment layer. So it's clear. It's like a piece of glass. You can't tell anything, but now we're going to adjust it. Let's head back over to effects tab. So we're going to look for an effect called wave warp. So now you can see here under the video effects in the distort folder, there's the wave warp. So we're going to drag and drop over that adjustment layer clip. And you'll notice if you look at the video, it's clearly warped to an extreme, which we're going to do some small adjustments to make it look more natural. So let's head back up here into the source panel, and you'll notice there's the wave warp that we just added, the effect, which is right there. The first adjustment we're going to do is we're going to head down to the wave type, which is the first here. And let's change it to square. We don't want it to be wavy, we want it to have a line. And then we'll leave the wave height at 10%, it's fine. But now with the wave width is what we're going to do. So you can see how we stretch this out and those get wider and wider. So we're going to stretch it all the way up, almost like 
Let's just make it an even thousand. And then the, the direction, we're actually going to make the zero. And then one last thing, we want it to be a little slower. So you can see if I move the playhead, it has lines going up and down. But I want it to be slower. So we'll go to the wave speed and we'll do minus 0.1. And then go down to the next one. So you want to go down here pinning and go to all edges. So you'll notice here in the video, when you do all edges, it stretches that out and fills the edge. Okay, so now we have the RGB colors taken care of. We have the, the wave warp effect attached to the adjustment layer. And you notice when I move it, you're going to see a line. See that line there going through the middle? It kind of gives that vintage camcorder look. So once we have that, we're going to do another thing just to add to that authenticity. So let's extend this out. And I'm going to do the color a little bit. So let's head up here to the top section, the panels. And let's change it to the color panel. And I'm going to head over here to saturation. And I'm just going to desaturate it just a little bit just to kind of give it more of a dull vintage look. Now I'm going to head back to the editing tab. Okay, so now we're looking pretty good. But the other thing, I want to add one last feature to give it that old school. I want to add a grain to it. So let's come back in the same section. We'll delete the wave warp search. And I'm going to type noise. And then head down here to noises and grain. We're just going to grab the standard noise. Drag and drop on that clip. And then we're going to head up here into the source panel again. Head down to the section where it says noise, because that's the effect we just added. And I'm going to add just a little bit. I'm going to do like 10%. Maybe a little bit more. Let's do 15. You can see in the video that little grain to kind of tie it together. So now, let me render this out real quick. So let's play this back now and see what it looks like. There we go. And the extra little bit of grain helped. Okay, perfect. We'll add one more effect to kind of seal the deal. And some of the old VHS camcorders had like the date stamp on it and a record stamp on it. So let's add that. So let's head down here to the text type tool click that and let's just go over here in the corner and let's just put a date so we'll just do let's just do May 5th 85 okay so now you'll see this date here let's move it down a little bit and the date doesn't look distorted like all the effects we just added and that's because it placed it up here above the adjustment layer so now we need to move down here below in that space that we left empty and then we'll stretch it out of the whole clip. So you can see here now it's under the grain. But I want to do one more thing. I'm going to highlight the clip that has the text on it. Head up here to opacity. And I'm going to lower the opacity so it's not as stark. So it's a little more faded. And you can see there it's a little more faded. And then also because we put it under the adjustment layer. All that grain and that line that moves through. That'll show on that. So now if we play it you'll see that line right here if I back it up. See, it'll, it'll run through that, so it'll just seem more effective. Now, the type itself is kind of more of a modern type. You can look for vintage, like, VHS type font, and you can, you know, be creative with that and how, what look you want to have, but this is just kind of a standard font, but you get the idea of it. So I'll play that through. So that's looking pretty good so far. The only thing that I think is, if you notice, modern day footage is 16.9, which is a little wider. Um, back in the day, it was 4.3, 4 so it's a different aspect ratio. So I'm going to add a little bit of crop to the sides to give it that, to give it that look. So I'm going to head back up here to the adjustment layer, type in crop, grab the regular crop and apply it here. I'm gonna click on that and head all the way down here to the bottom where the crop effect is placed. Now I'm just going to go on the left side, maybe 10, and I'm going to go to the right side maybe 10 and then I'm head down to the feather I'll add 10% feather just so it's a little bit softer so now you'll notice I gotta render this out one more time okay let's see how this looks we'll go back to the beginning so that has that vintage 80s camcorder VHS look and depending if you want to go a little older if you like you know want to make it look more 70s you can play with those RGB like the way we'd slide left to right to separate the colors a little bit. You can do that more, you can add more grain, you can play with the lines for the distortion. You can manipulate it any way to make it look sloppier for older footage. It's ultimately up to your creative control and the look that you're going for and you can just tinker around and tweak it the way you like it.
Anyway, I hope that helped, and if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later!